Well, it's that time of year again where we're thinking about filing our tax returns. And I don't know how many times I've seen someone bring in a box of unopened mail receipts and give it to their accountant and really hope everything goes well. But what if, and I know we're all creatures of habit, but what if we came in earlier? What if we came in organized? What if we came in understanding our situation? How much better would things be? So if that interests you and that caught your attention, this video is for you. So there's five main areas I wanna cover and, and you're gonna be filling out a tax organizer or putting this in an email, maybe even putting in this in a folder and giving to your CPA. But there's five main areas for things that you wanna start collecting. The first one is stuff personal. Have you moved? Have you had a child? Has your marital status changed? Are you supporting an older family member? Those are things you're gonna to wanna to write down because there aren't tax documents to support that. When you're working, employed, self-employed, have rental properties, there's different documents that you wanna collect. So when you're employed, you're gonna to to collect all your W-2s. So maybe you have multiple jobs. You're gonna to wanna to collect a W-2 for each of those. If you're self-employed, put together your P&L, a profit and loss, showing all the inflows and outflows, income expenses for the year. And if you have rental properties, put together a summary showing all the, all the tenants and the expenses related to those. For investments, we're thinking here 1099. So things that we're gonna report are interest and our dividends. And if you sold stock throughout the year, your capital gains and losses from those. Retirement accounts. So here you're thinking about taking money or withdrawals or distributions from your IRAs. Maybe you're starting to receive pension payments or social security benefits. Collect all those statements as well. If you're putting money into an IRA, so making a, a traditional IRA contribution, you're gonna to want to provide that information, or maybe you did some Roth conversions, you're gonna to wanna to provide that to your accountant as well. So the last one here is deductions, and the ones I wanna point out here revolve around medical. So what medical expenses, large expenses, have you paid out of pocket that aren't being reimbursed by insurance? What about your home? Collect your property taxes and your mortgage interest statement. Put those together. And last one is charitable. How are you supporting different not-for-profits that you believe in? Maybe it's cash, maybe you're tithing at church or giving money to a charity. Collect the donation receipts and the acknowledgements, put those all together. And for any non-cash, so maybe you're giving property or clothing to Salvation Army or Goodwill, collect those and put a summary of what those items were. So these are just five areas, but if you want a more detailed checklist, go to our website, download that, and hopefully that will help you gather your documents understand your situation better, and help your accountant file your return earlier.